Hello, welcome back to the channel. And what is probably a little bit of a provocative title, um, why you have a bad golf swing and how you're going to change it is uh, not really a question of technique, it's a question of intention. Um, what I'm getting at here is there's an awful lot of you out there watching my channel, watching other people's channels, trying to get a handle on what it is that is stopping you swinging the golf club like the guys on tour and the girls on tour. And the question is, if you look at so many amateur golfers out there, all doing the same things wrong, all coming from the outside to the ball, all basically hacking down, what is the problem? Why can't they get it? And I believe that an awful lot of it has to do with the intention you have when you're standing over a golf ball. And without changing that intention, you're not going to be able to change your swing. So this is something that I want to help you over the coming weeks and months through the winter season change, not only how to change your golf swing, how to get yourself swinging in plane with a golf swing, uh, but actually how do you change your intention to swing a golf club. Long story short, it's all about the ball and you're trying desperately to hit it and you've got to stop doing that. Other sports, I never played baseball myself and I'm sure there's an awful lot of you out there who have, especially my American audience. The baseball player is getting a ball arriving at chest height from a pitcher somewhere over there. And the, it, the intention is clear. I'm going to hit it back at him or I'm going to hit it somewhere on the park. Your intention as a golfer is to hit the ball. Why would you turn your hips if you're just trying to hit the ball? Why would you swing the club on a shallow plane if you're just trying to hit the ball? If you film yourself down the line, that basically a camera which is looking over the ball towards the target, take a backswing and hit the ball. You will probably find if you were to draw a line from your hands at the top of the swing down to the ball, that your hands will track that line almost perfectly in the downswing. Although there is no line here for you to see, unconsciously your brain is saying the target is down there and the quickest way back to that target is a straight line. There are no straight lines in a golf swing and if we're honest, the majority of top golfers learnt as children and children learn totally differently to adults. They've almost got a 3D camera in their brain and as long as their instructor has got a good swing, they're going to have a good swing as well. The top thing for kids is that their role model can actually do what he's saying because they're not really listening to him, they're just copying him. Here in Germany, one of the big things is skiing and the beauty is that all of the ski instructors have been skiing since they were children and all of the children who learn from these ski instructors are basically sliding down the slopes like ducks following the mother and they are copying everything that they are doing. So you can actually see sometimes that the children here in Germany have a golf swing that looks like their instructors. You've got to ask yourself, when did you start learning this game? And if you learnt it after your 12th year, you're probably going to struggle. It might be a little harsh, maybe 16th year. Depending on how your brain developed, you become didactical and you start to try and understand the golf swing on a didactical level. On top of that, you are not happy if you don't hit the ball. A child, when he's practicing, yeah, he wants to hit the ball, yeah, he wants it to fly, but it's not the end of the world if it doesn't. Is it the end of the world if you don't? I think in a lot of cases it really is. 
So how do we change this? Well, it's about, like I say, getting an idea of the intention. So what I'd like you to do is actually imagine that there was a golf pitcher there. Now he's not going to pitch the ball over arm. He's going to roll the ball to you. And what you, your job is, is to hit the ball back at him. So you've got to imagine the ball on its way to you and you're just going to hit it back to him. Because you're trying to move the ball in this direction, because your intention is to do that, the rest will take care of itself or a great deal of it. To get the feeling for this, you want to have the feeling of the club actually being behind you when you make this move. So rather than hitting the ball from a start with the club next to the ball, take the club back and lean it a little behind you. And then look towards the target, imagine the ball rolling up, take a little back swing and hit it out towards the target. This is not maybe as easy as it looks and you're probably going to miss a few. But it's going to give you a different perspective, a different idea of the job. A lot of my customers come to me and say, John, I don't really understand it. I've got such a lovely practice swing in the moment I get to the golf ball, it all goes pear-shaped. Well, why? Because for your brain, they're two different jobs. One of them, you're trying to make a golf swing. You're moving the club, in a lot of cases, on a good plane. You're swinging the golf club. But as soon as you put a ball in front of your feet, the job changes. And it becomes all about the ball. And the first and the most important priority in that is making contact with the ball with the club head. Now in the coming weeks, I'm going to show you what is really the most important thing on doing that which is really revolves around being able to feel the club head, knowing where the club head is in your swing. But the first thing you've got to do is get rid of the intention to hit the ball. You've got to get that feeling that you have when you're making a practice swing, when you're letting the golf club simply swing around your body. And then you've got to do the same thing when you're hitting a ball. Don't try and smash the thing any great distances to start off with. Just try and imagine the pitch is coming to you, you're going to take it back and you're going to hit the ball back to him. It's all about getting the right intention and without the right intention, all of these videos you're watching, all these books you're reading, all of these practice swings you're making and all these drills you're doing, are basically useless. Because although your brain is perfectly capable of making these movements, it can only do it without a ball. Because the moment the ball comes into, the, into play, you change the job and try and hit the golf ball. I know this will help you. I know this works. Try it out. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. I'll be back very shortly with the next one. Until then, thanks for watching. And by the way, thanks to all of my patrons for looking after me this season. If you would like to become a patron, I'll leave a link below.